Good day all, welcome back to Cruising Classics YouTube channel. Today we have for you a 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme 442 convertible. Oh yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. You don't see too many of these, there were less than a thousand of these 1972 442 convertibles made and we've got one of the best examples of one sitting here in front of us today. Dressed in matador red and with a couple of special upgrades that those who are in the know are going to notice right away. The paint job, very, very nice quality. Not quite show quality, but very high driver. It looks excellent. You can see right straight away here, we've got a louvered hood with air intakes and white stripes and twist locks. It is a W30 style hood. This is not a W30 car, but they have a W30 hood on it, which is really, really cool. And once you see underneath of that hood, down into the engine bay, you're gonna think it's even cooler. Got that iconic look of the split in half, double grill there, quad headlights. Just a beautiful look up front. Nice gleaming bumper. What a cool looking car from the front end. What a cool looking car from all sides. Check it out from over here. Lots of styling to break up all of that red. Got a really cool white sports stripe. It runs the whole length of the car all the way down to the end. You can see that 442 badging there, nice and crisp and new looking. To me, one of the coolest things about this particular car is it's got these color keyed factory wheels on it with beauty rings and center caps. BF Goodrich radial TAs wrapped around them. Just the perfect look with that car to have those wheels on it. See, we've got color keyed side mirrors, got them on both sides. Some bright window trim. And a convertible top done in white that is simply flawless. Hardly any wrinkles, no stains, just a nice, gorgeous top. And with a solid back window that you can see through that isn't all modeled up. Just fantastic. You can see we've got bright surround all the way around the convertible top. And we'll put that top down in a little bit and show you the, the open air version of this car, which to me, I actually like a little bit better than with the top up. Bright door handles, bright window trim. Just a gorgeous overall look on this car, along with that slick paint. Coming around to the back, you'll see we've got another W30 attribute to this car. On W30s and the big block versions of the car, the 455s, which this is not, you've got these cutouts here in the rear bumper and flared chrome exhaust tips. So that has been done to this car, although it's not a big block car, it does have that attribute. Nice clear taillights. The sport stripe continues on around and flows across the trunk, as you can see, and with yet another 442 badge. Beautiful chrome. It's like a mirror. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, we're back here in the back. We're going to open the trunk right quick. I'll show you what we got going on here. Now, they have given us a full spare with a BF Goodrich radial TA. All it needs is the beauty ring off of the flat that you get, and you are back in business. Nobody will even know what happened. Factory jack and tire iron hiding down under there. Over on this side, we've got a white boot cover for when the top's down. Some black rubber floor mats and a car cover. Jacking instructions are up on the deck lid. Very nice trunk. Moving around to the passenger side of the car, it's every bit as nice as the driver's side. Straight as an arrow. Nice body lines, nice body gaps. Good panel fitment. As we get up here to the door, you'll see 
Everything lines right up, looks just as it should. Another look at that gorgeous top. Hard not to fall in love with one of these 442s. The 442 package this particular year in 72, if memory serves right, was about 30 bucks. Got a lot of bang for your buck back in 1972, it would appear. Now we're up to the front of the car again. I'm going to pause briefly. We'll be back and we'll get that hood open, check out what's underneath. We'll start the car up and we'll put that top down. Be right back. And we are back with the hood open on our 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme 442 convertible. And it is a super tidy engine bay. Done in black with a gorgeous Olds Gold 350 block down there. Look at that beautiful paint. Looks like new. That 350 is dressed up quite a bit. As you can see over here, Got chrome valve covers. We've got an Edelbrock aluminum intake. We've got an Edelbrock four barrel carburetor. A nice polished one underneath there. Look how shiny and nice that looks. And on top of it, an air cleaner with working Ram Air features. So you can see it'll open up the little door. Up above, you've got a leaf catcher. And looks like we caught a leaf with it. So it is a functional hood. The air does come in through those vents. It does channel all the way down to the air cleaner. And the air cleaner works just as it should and takes breaths whenever it needs to. You've got the nice little mat around it to form a seal. Super cool. Over the, to my left here, you'll see that we've got air conditioning that does work, does blow cold, and has been retrofitted to 134A and very recently as you can see. Moving over here you can see we do have power steering and the power steering and I, I gotta note this I, I when I drove this car in here from back in the back the power steering is just effortless you can turn the wheel with your pinky a, a, a two-year-old could drive the car if it came down to just moving the steering wheel it is so easy it's almost like a Cadillac. It's remarkably smooth. Power brakes. It's a disc drum combo. Nice looking booster and reservoir there. Newer looking alternator. Everything's just so well done and tidy inside of here. I'd be proud to show this off at any car show. Pertronics ignition. The uh, 350 up front has made it up to a turbo 350, three-speed automatic transmission, and a 10-bolt rear end. As you can see, we've got a beautiful white interior here. OEM-style door cards and lots and lots of faux wood grain going on inside this car. That was a lot of what the uh, 442 package brought to the convertible. Gives it that sense of style. You can see here we've got power locks. We've got a toggle for the side mirror. Power windows. And a nice blend of white vinyl, black carpet, and wood grain to make up the door panels. The seats have nice hard backs. And they've got the real pretty trim that comes down. It follows around the bottom of it too. While we're down there, you can see the nice quality hook and loop carpet. The seats themselves in very, very nice condition, especially considering that they are white. No stains, no rips, no tears. They are in great shape. And we'll fold one forward just a little bit so we can take a peek in the back. Back seat looks just as it should. Now, these seats are exceedingly comfortable. This whole car is so comfortable. It's comfy to drive, comfy to sit in. It is an awesome cruiser. It's not the fastest car in town. It'll get up and move, but comfort and cruisability are the two words I would use in describing this car. Let's take a quick look at the passenger seat here. 
Very nice. The dash has a crack-free vinyl top. And plenty of wood grain. You can see a couple of Supreme badge there. Courtesy light works in the glove box, and you've got that button over to the side for trunk release. We have an original working AM FM stereo. Sounds pretty good. There's the controls for the heat and the air. Heat blows hot, air blows nice and cold. And that is factory AC equipped on this car. Steering wheel, four spoke model. Kind of stylish. A little bit of faux stitching there. As we move over here, you can see our controls for the two speed wipers are here and for the power top are here. And we will operate that power top very shortly. Three round pods make up the center of the gauges. Fuel, oil, and temp. Your speedometer, and that is non actual miles on this car. We don't know how many are actually on it, but it's not 1,107. And a tachometer with a working clock in the center. Does <laughs> it get any cooler than that? I can't believe the clock works. So seldom do they, but this one sure does. This is a tilt steering column, as I'll evidence here. So real convenient for those who might be taller or shorter. A center console splits the seats. You'll see it does double as a storage box along with the armrest function. Some real nice wood grain and a his and hers shifter, as you can see right there. Nice black shift ball on it, and the wood grain continues on up to the front. A little bit of stylish trim on the side of it, just jazz it up a little bit. Couldn't get much more cool than that. Well, the time has come. Let's fire this car up. Give it a listen. We'll put that top down and get a look at how she is in the open air format. We'll give it a couple of kicks and turn it over. Just that easy. Let's take a look here at our... Tack works just as it should. Come on over here to the gauges. See, it was a nice cold start. Temps low. Oil pressure. Oil pressure gauge obviously works. Stereo works. Let's crank up the cold here. Oh man, that air comes out. It will definitely freeze you out. That is freaking awesome. All right, it's already a chilly day. I'm not gonna make it any worse on myself. Now, to put the top down in this car, it doesn't really take a whole lot. First thing I do when I put the top down on a car is I roll all the windows down. And we'll roll down the fronts. All right, windows are down. Now, on the sides, there's a release lever. I'll go ahead and put the visors down as well, although you don't need to. It just makes sense to me. It makes it easier. I'll undo the one on this side. And that's all there is to it. We're going to go to the button now. And top down. It's that easy. Now to prove the top goes up, I'm going to go ahead and put the top up real quick and then I'll drop it back down. Just want you to see how it works and how quickly it does what it does. All right, we're going to go back down now and we'll get out and take a look.
442 350 sound awesome all right got our hood shut now let's take a look at this car in a whole different light oh isn't that beautiful isn't that beautiful I bet I'm not the only one who wants to take us out on the first sunny day and cruise it around town. You get a great view of the interior now. You can see just how fresh and clean it looks. I mean, really, just an astounding white interior in here. The wood grain gives it that very, very cool look. Supreme 442 circa 1972 could be yours. Give us a call here at Cruising Classics. Our number is 614-276-7355. We're happy to answer any questions you got about this cool 442. We can help you out with transport to get it from our garage to your garage and a covered carrier. We can also help you out getting financing. We've got a couple companies that specialize in loans on these classic cars. Again, give us a call. We're happy to answer your questions. About the 72 Olds 442 at Cruisin' Classics in Columbus, Ohio, 614-276-7355. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll be back again tomorrow with something else cool.